welcome. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about Y up, and it's a section head. That section heading is Y up. So we're talking about the 80 20 principle, the critical few, and like, oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having trouble with my Kindle usage. Okay, so introduction, yeah. 80 20 principle, Y up and critical few mm -hmm. and then that's the last part yep and then don't reward effort reward results and yeah so the critical few because okay so this section helps us understand why we're taking the time to watch these videos yeah why why carve out part of your day why why are you spending any time at all with us yes what what are we supposed to what do you hope to get out of this i mean yeah why are we intruding on their day and taking up their time? <laughs> <laughs> yes, why up? And then why, why, what effect does this amount of time that you spend doing mm -hmm. this, how does it affect the rest of your day? How does it affect your life, your view? Mm -hmm. And then when you understand that, when if this section were to make sense to you and you were to translate it, then you would get the answer. Yeah, so... It's, it's really fun to think about, you know, uh, in fact, that's one of the ways um, the 80-20 principle book talked about. It was, it was like figure out which things in your, all of the things in your life that make, bring you happiness. Mm -hmm. And then figure out which ones are the few that make the most difference in your happiness level. And then put more of that into your time, put more of that into your life. And so if you, th if you think of it that way, if instead it was, instead of things that make you, bring you happiness, if it were a process that improves your ability to generate happiness, which is what we're talking about. <laughs> so if you can always, in all conditions, have this peak experience, what would that do for the rest of your life, for every other area of your life? So that I think the Stacy brought up the 80-20 principle and looking for what impacts and and ask yourself you know honestly how does it fit does it fit do you even need it mm -hmm. you know if if this is not bringing anything to your life don't waste your time with it <laughs> <laughs> if it's yeah I mean yeah if if this is not helping you uh, then it Obviously, we wouldn't want that. You would just spend your time doing this. But if it is it, make sure you examine the lens first. Is it not helping because of the way you're viewing it, or is it not helping because we, we don't have anything that can help you because you're already past this? Yeah, <laughs> you're way up here. Which, if you are, I want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, if you're way up here, you you should be sharing what yeah. you know with everyone else because we want to be there too. Yeah, you're, you know, <laughs> like so. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons. Uh, this is done in a group experience because yeah this would be good if it did this you can say that mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know like so looking for the critical few that's what Stacy's constantly doing with how what is the amount that's gonna be the best things to give the group that will help the group the most yeah and how to do it and what activities and constantly reevaluating and yes. testing and trying out new things, <laughs> adding a playground, throwing things in YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's such an amazing experience to be doing it and then to be thinking about the potential positive results that you guys could be getting from what I'm doing and then if, if you're spending 1% of your time doing this and then looking to see how does it affect the the, the 99% of mm -hmm. the rest of my time. Mm -hmm. And if there was something, let's Let's just say if the book, if the concepts do what they say, if Stacy's mm -hmm. saying the truth, if I'm really gonna get this kind of result, mm -hmm. would it be worth trying it out? And that's kind of what this section is too. Yeah. It's like, think about, you know, is yeah. it, if, if it can even do half of what Stacy says, if it, can, if, mm -hmm. if it could do a quarter of what she says, then would it be worth the time that I'm spending? And, and that's kind of a traditional approach, like measuring Mm -hmm. cost, benefit. cost benefit cost mm benefit -hmm. yeah yeah which is fine because we're still working in the traditional system until we can get out of it like individ as individuals we will still have some well not I can't speak for everyone but many of us still have the residues of the traditional system and so we'll work within those parameters but 
ideally we want to get out of that kind of traditional system perspective <laughs> put on the new lens the up lens <laughs> mm -hmm. and you can keep the traditional one in the drawer right? yeah That's yeah like, you don't have to <laughs> get say, rid okay of it. which one's better for me yes I just did a video like kind of explaining that and maybe I'll share it but it was kind of this idea that when you're trying out a new habit or a new thing to enjoy the whole process from beginning to end keep on keep a hold of that old idea Kind of put it in the drawer in the back room and be like hey i could go back to that anytime there's mm -hmm. no threat here mm -hmm. i can learn new ideas yeah. and new new thoughts and concepts but i don't have to give up my old ones i just want to try out a new one for a while and then see how the how the difference is try out try it on <laughs> yeah. and you, if you see a positive improvement you're like oh this is an upgrade yeah <laughs> <laughs> if it's not go back and get it out yeah, of the drawer like, nope, let me try the other one <laughs> all right that was better <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep so good stuff yeah, I think that was good. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, wait, one thing. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Don't reward effort, reward results. And um, we had one of our team members say, what does it mean to re reward something? Because mm -hmm. rewarding something is kind of a traditional system idea that you need something, a future benefit to reward you for something you're doing right mm -hmm. now. So when we're talking about rewarding it, we're saying see the benefits and then focus on those benefits, bring more of whatever it is that brought those benefits, focus more on that. So rewarding it, not as like a future reward, but give it more focus, give it more time, give it more energy and see mm -hmm. if it's giving you results, then reward it with your time and energy and focus. <laughs> and if this book group is giving you results, keep with us. Yes. Stay here. Yes. <laughs> we love having you here. <laughs> okay. okay, good. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.